I'm here with a wellness expert from Lakewinds, Amy, and I've also got my helper, Ella, and we are going to talk today about some natural beauty products we can make right in our own home with supplies we find from the co-op. Right. Amy's going to teach us how to make a bath bomb. And these, we've already got some pre-made here, of course, and they look amazing. Ella, how do you feel about making your mom a bath bomb as a gift? Good, because my dad already used her other soap. All right, let's get started, Amy. What do we do? The basic recipe is really simple. Um, we have citric acid, which is the main part of a bath bomb that causes it to fizz and have a sort of chemical reaction when it hits the water. How much citric acid do we need? Um, the basic recipe is baked, or other Ing main ingredient is baking soda, so it's two parts baking soda to one part citric acid. Okay. You can make as much or as little as you want. The recipe we're going to make today makes about four bath four bombs. Bath bombs. Okay. So we have half a cup of baking soda to a quarter cup citric acid, and then we've got this cornstarch. And cornstarch isn't necessarily needed, but it does help sort of bind the bomb together and help it to float in the water for longer. Should we make your mom a bath bomb here? Uh -huh. All right. Okay, so Amy, do we use the citric acid first? We dump all the dry ingredients into the bowl and whisk them together. It's okay for the Yep. Good job. We have Epsom salts here and they're really good to relax your muscles and everything, but they also add just a little bit of sparkle. So how much are you putting in there? A quarter of a cup. A quarter of a cup, okay. Now whisk these all together so they're very nicely mixed and all the chunks of the Epsom salt are out. All right, so Ella has done a fantastic job of mixing our ingredients here. Next comes the liquid, and this is the tricky part because this is where the chemical reaction will happen. Okay. So we take a little bowl and we mix um, whatever liquid ingredients we are going to put into our bath bomb together first before adding them. The thing I love about these is there is no end to the variety of wet ingredients you can add. Any combination you want, you can add oil to make it a little bit more nourishing and help the essential oils soak into your skin a little easier. We have some hydrosols that are scented so it adds extra scent to thing, essential oils and witch hazel is really good to add in, or you could just add plain water if you wanted to, okay. keep it simple. Well, let's get started with our liquid ingredients. Okay. Ella has made some choices for her mom here. So what we're gonna add do? some oil, because she probably wants soft skin, right? Mm -hmm. We'll add just a half a teaspoon of almond oil. There it is. All right, oh, let me see. And you had picked rose for your mom, uh -huh. so we're gonna add this rose regenerator oil. It smells really good. One, two, three. So those are just drops, basically. Just drops. Ella and I better, we better check that out. You better out. check that out. And then did you want, like that. we have some natural dye. And the dye is just to make it look pretty? Yep. That's good. And then we're gonna slowly add this to the dry ingredients. So, so I can see we've got, actually we don't have like a ton There's of that. this liquid mixture in there, but we add but it just bit by it. bit, right? Because the second any of that touches this stuff, it's gonna start to fizz and bubble. So the whisking will stop that chemical reaction. We add it a little bit at a time until it gets to a powdery, kind of like snow, like a snowball making material. Got it. You wanna be able to form it together, but not too wet. Do you wanna whisk while I slowly add okay. this stuff in there? So you're just using Whisk. your spoon oh, to kind of yeah. drizzle it in there. Yep. Can I get the sides a little bit? Yeah. Yep. Sometimes what I like to do is just reach my hands in and squish it together. We'll add the rest of this. What you can do is any more we will add, we will spray in. So what's this? This is a This spray. is a rose hydrosol. Okay. Can I spray it? You can okay. spray. I, I think. used perfume right. before. Yeah. Okay. So Three Ella's going to be our sprayer. Three sprays at a time, kind of. There All we right. go. This is still feeling really powdery to me. Yeah. Come on. We need to whisk it really good. Really? Okay. You want to help me by grabbing hands in here? Sometimes this is just the best way to do it. Really smush it. Okay, Amy, I can tell by the way it looks when Ella's handling it that I now have 
something that's going to form into right. a solid shape. The whole process of this is let your creativity go wild. You can form it any kind of container that you have laying around at home that you think would make a great bath bomb. So we've got this muffin tin, we've put in some liners, and we're simply going to press our bath bomb contents into here. Mm -hmm. And then what happens after that? Um, then there'll be a drying period, at least 12 hours. You really want to push it in as tightly as you can. All right, so um, I like to use a spoon because you can really sort of, the, the more firm you can get it packed together, the more compact your bath bomb will be and it'll hold together really well. You can tell, I mean, this is really tightly packed. Now, and this is a finished one. Right. Which then, I think has like a secret surprise in there. It does. You can add secret surprises. We have rose petals too if um, you wanted to add some in there. Did you want to add some rose petals to your mom's bath bomb? Um, okay. okay. Just sprinkle a little. And then that's a surprise when it dissolves. And then you can add more over the top of it and smush it in. Sure. And then those will come out in the tub. Yep. All right, we've put all of these things in. We've patted it firm. We're going to let it sit. I want to actually see one of these bath bombs in action, which might seem a little wasteful, but I am dying to see how this actually this turns out. In? There, Ella, I think there's a secret surprise. This sort of looks like a cherry, but I think it might be something else. Check it out. Ooh, oh my gosh. <laughs> that looks so fun. And funny. I know. I would love to be in a bath with that. I want to know what's in there too. It kind of looks like a gumball. Can we push it down? You can. It might float back up. How does that feel? Weird. <laughs> it's a little fizzy like pop. <gasps> oh it's my a, gosh. It's Our a, secret surprise. It's a duck. It has eyes. It's a, I think it's a, do you think it's a duck or a fish? What is I it? Think <gasps> it's a rubber ducky. <laughs> That is so fun. Amy, thank you for showing us this. I love the fact that we're making this for Ella's mom, but also I think Ella might have fun with some of these too. So great gifts for kids, great gifts for moms. Always a great time at Lakewinds. Thank you so much. You're welcome, thank you. To learn more about the project we did today and other ideas for homemade beauty products, visit our website.